Mark has lost a disputed split decision to Manny Pacquiao in their epic right. fight in March. It was an epic. Uh, you went on to take Pacquiao for your next opponent. What did you take out of that fight as a, a more than interested observer? Well, I mean, watching watching both fights, I mean, obviously, uh, Juan Manuel Marquez is such a, a crafty boxer. He has changed his style a bit so he can be more of an aggressive uh, puncher, um, um, uh, more, more of a pleasing style for the fans, uh, which, which uh, obviously has helped his... Uh, his, his career out quite a bit. But did you um, see something, Oscar? Did you see something say, you know what, Marquez was getting to him, he's technically better, and you know what, I'm a bigger version of that? Well, obviously, I have to be smart. I have to use my jab. I have to be rangy in that ring. So uh, just the way Juan Manuel Marquez uh, uh, did against him uh, in both of their fights, he was using that long jab. He was using that, those long right hands. I just have to make sure Pacquiao, when he, when he comes in with his uh, explosive style um, and his hard punches, I have to make sure I have my hands up. You know, Pacquiao is, is regarded as number one pound for pound, but he's a much smaller man. What went into your decision-making process? Because, Oscar, you can fight anybody for big, big money. Why go against this guy? Where Look, he, he's a much smaller man, and isn't there more to lose against a much smaller man? Well, the fact, the fact that they challenged me. Uh, the well, fact everybody that the challenges best, uh, you, Oscar. Absolutely. <laughs> the, best, the best fighter in the planet, uh, the fact that he challenged me, the fact that he said he can knock me out. Um, and I think, uh, I think the fact that Freddie Roach, who trained me for Mayweather Jr., says I cannot pull the trigger anymore. Okay, well, let's, let's, uh, let's see what, what, uh, what's going to happen in December. And also the fact that this is, this is going to be the biggest event in boxing history. This is a global event. Great for the sport. Yeah, no, the Philippines, you know, he is a, a god, really, of, of Pacquiao. Well, do, you, do you miss, I know, e there's a challenge for each fight, uh, but does some small part of you miss the chance to punch Floyd Mayweather at some point? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, uh, obviously, I don't lose sleep over it, but, um, but um, I, I do sometimes think, wow, you know, if I can have that rematch, uh, how different it would be. Um, you know, when I fought Floyd Mayweather Jr., it was actually easy when I was throwing the jab. For some reason, I just stopped throwing it. And, um, you know, if we did fight uh, in the near future, um, it'll be a whole different story, that's for sure. Now keep saying that. You know, he's out there. He's not far <laughs> away. Keep, keep talking well, like that. <laughs> I hear he needs the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really are. You tweaked him a little bit. All right. Uh, hey, Oscar, one last thing. The U.S. Olympic boxing team, it's worst showing ever. You're an Olympic champion from the United States. What can be done here? I think it's a scoring system. Uh, the scoring system is really, really uh, diminishing the, uh, the the product, which are the fighters. They wanna they wanna adjust to that style. They wanna adjust to the point system, and they're throwing punches and bunches. It's creating uh, really bad styles for the sport of boxing, and um, we have to do something about it. And now that we're part of USA Boxing with Golden Boy Promotions, uh, we're gonna be doing some talking with uh, with the higher ranked people and uh, and see what we can change because it really is destroying amateur boxing.